everybody. Um, welcome to our monthly um, 90 for Life talk. Um, my name is Kevin Grundy. Um, just a quick introduction. Most of you guys know me already. I'm a member of New Zealand Association of Medical Herbalists and part of the American Herbalist Guild. I specialize in Western herbal medicine, natural and nutritional health. I'm a young Jeopardy three star executive and very proud of it. But more importantly, I'm independent from the company. It means I work for myself, do as I please, and um, yeah, just accountable to nobody. So today we're going to be talking about handle with care. So we're going to be talking about promoting a safe and clean environment and a place where we can breathe fresh air. And today we're going to be doing that with um, our friends from Nature's Direct. Um, Jenny Anderson has kindly uh, agreed to come and talk to us uh, about Nature's Direct part of our Young Jeopardy 90 for Life and how that fits into our picture. And also at the end, uh, like we do every month, uh, we have our lovely um, down under aromatherapy girls and they'll be talking about the Young Jeopardy essential oils. And of course, uh, I will try and put the Young 90 for Life spin on things. Um, so that's our lineup for today, a little bit different. Um, um, a little bit sort of, um, oh, what's the word I'm talking about? I'll take a pause there. I'll cut that one out. And as I said earlier, uh, we're going to be talking about the Young Jeopardy Central Oils for the month. And we always do the previous month. So um, we'll be doing September. And of course, that theme is Handle with Care. And we'll be talking about um, the three herbs, uh, Kokoba, tea tree and frankincense. So um, all wonderful herbs. That's what the girls are here to talk about. I'd just like to recap where this is all going on coming from. Remember, it's all about Dr. Wallach and 90 for life. There are three steps to better health. We need to identify a category, our health challenge category, and we need to choose the, the right pack. And very importantly, we need to have the right dose for our health, for our weight, and for the severity of our health challenge. So that could be double your maintenance do dose. In some cases, it's triple your maintenance dose. And I have seen Dr. Wallach subscribe four times your maintenance dose when things are very severe. Okay, so dosing is very important. Uh, and of course, step three, we need to clean up your diet, lifestyle, environment, which is what we're talking about today. So those five secrets, we've talked about eating, we're talking about eliminating, exercise, sleep, and now the support. Okay, just to recap, because look, this is what we're about, the message. What is the message? 90 for life, 60 minerals, 12, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, two to three essential fatty acids make up your 90 essential. This is your cleaning system. This is keeping things going. This is the maintenance, the, the breath, of, breath of fresh air inside your body. So this is where it all starts. Remember, body doesn't make them. They're essential. We've got to get them from our food. And for everyone missing, um, will lead to a disease. And there are 900 different diseases. So this is where it starts, the beginning. So where do we go from here? Well, we handle with care. We're going to support. What are we going to support? We're going to support you. We're going to support the body. And so something a bit different. Um, we've already talked about the 90 for life and where that fits in. I've made that clear. But this is a little bit different. What Longevity offers to help um, support and to you know, give care. So we have a product called Hydrate. Now Hydrate is a drinking bottle with a special type of filter. This filter is... Well, it's just different. We'll talk about it at the moment. So we're going to talk about your body. Of course, there's pets. We need to talk about pets. It's all about, you know, um, handle with care. We, we have to treat our kids, pets with care. Our clothes and our washing, um, we need to handle, you know, what we're using on a daily basis with care. Don't forget the garden. Spring is in the air. And so we need to be looking at now, what do we put in the garden? What care can we be looking at? Simple care for the garden from our 90 for life pantry. And of course, home. We need to spring up our home, spruce up our home. And we have a great uh, brand, um, Nature's Direct, with their powerful array of products. And Jeanette Anderson will be delighted to share all of these with us. Um, so 
when we live in a poor environment, there are many things that our body uh, is susceptible to. And when we're not eating good foods, when we're not breathing good quality air, you know, the air itself can lead to many, many health challenges, just the air. It can lead to the obvious things, your lung disease, heart disease, forms of cancer, your lung cancer, or any forms of cancer once it enters your system. Um, diabetes, of course, obesity in, in households and children. Um, so you know, act to clean up the air we breathe in our cities and buildings. We need to heal it. We need to 90 for life and heal it. So let's go back to the wide rate. Okay, so Longevity is wide rate. It's a bottle with a special cap. This cap has been um, scientifically manufactured to filter out many of the nasties we find in water. So it provides and improves your drinking water. This on the go hydration filter will not only filter tap water, but will also save you money in the and the environment, because we're not buying bottled water, okay? You can go to any forms of water, you tap, you creek, providing it's a relatively clean creek, there's a limit to everything, of course, and you put, use this water to, to filter it out. And once it's all filtered out, then you can drop your longevity um, um, minerals, plant-derived minerals in there, add the extra protection, and away you go. So nowadays, accessing to fresh drinking water comes at a cost, we know that. Here we are in little old New Zealand, and we give away to international countries our pure water from our ground, but yet they feed us this crappy old surface water that comes out of the air and the pollutants and on the ground and off the roofs, and, and it's just disgusting. But we're giving away for next to nothing our good quality water. Anyway, beside the point. Um, so the second grade water as us Kiwis and Australians are, are forced to, to drink, then this product, Widrate, is a, a really great way. It uh, also helps increase the, 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 the flavour. If you've got any chlorine or any of those uh, nasty things in your water, or you may have um, um, plastic or new plastic pipes, or they may have done some renovations and there's new pipe pipes and then you've got that plasticky flavour, then an another really good way of getting rid of it. <clears throat> and of course, um, these come with a uh, refill, so you can buy a pack of refill, there's four uh, per pack, but remember, each one of these uh, filters will last you, well, consuming three bottles a day for two to three weeks, okay? Like I said, it depends on how dirty that stream is. So that's a really good use and a really good way of, uh, of um, freeing up a whole pile of plastic out of the environment. Um, it's, it's the pet free, it's, it's all those free things, those nasties we hate in plastic, they're all gone. It's reusable, it's recyclable. Even when you're finished with it, you throw it straight into the recycling bin. Once you know, you've know you squashed the heck out of the bottle and it's no longer looking its nice shape, okay, just recycle it. And you know what? You can get an, an, a, another good quality bottle, bottle, providing it uses that standard bottle top, it'll work because the, the function is in the top. And okay, like I said earlier, and it helps to reduce the uh, the the taste in the tap ta water. Okay, so so let's move on to pets. We've always got to be looking after our pets. We've got to handle our pets always with care. Okay, and we have a great product called Calming Mist. Uh, at the moment, I believe um, it's a promotion. You buy one, you get a, a second one for free for a limited time. Um, and so this product just helps bring the the animal down to back down to earth. You know how they can get quite hypo and, and, and energetic because people are around. You just spray this mist around them and, and the animal calms down. And I'm pretty certain that um, um, Jeanette will have some great add ons for our Nature's Direct version of uh, these calming products because her products are so animal friendly. Um, these Nature Direct products are very, very. Uh, environmentally friendly and of course it's made with our plant derived minerals as well there's not too many products out there that are made with our plant derived minerals I think there should be a lot more I think there's a big market for plant derived mineral products anyway going through the ingredients as you can see plant derived minerals sea salt sandalwood okay lavender rosemary so it's a really nice 
all those herbs that help just calm and relax that nervous system. Okay, next we handle care with our personal side, with our, with our clothing. And we have a product called uh, Hydro Clean. It's a, an all round uh, multi-purpose cleaner, very friendly to the environment. It removes stains, you can use it on carpet, you can clothes, you can use it anywhere you would um, want to use a clean fabric. So those tough, those tough stains, it's wine marks, juice, etc. You know, it's, a, it's a very friendly, it's biodegradable. Um, and yeah, it's just a great way of just refreshing your clothes and sticking to that, that 90 for life brand. And let's give some love to our garden. You know, I'm a, I'm a keen gardener, although it's extremely hard to garden when you don't actually have one or at the moment it's a building site. Um, it's stripped all our topsoil off and, and that's sitting in one big pile. So in the next coming weeks, I hopefully we'll get, claim all our topsoil back and we can start planting. At the moment, I have zero, zero area. Even though I've got a house and a building site, except I've got zero planting area. I can't even start to prepare. Hopefully all that will come to, uh, to an end in a few more weeks. And I've already got my bag of uh, Bloom and Minerals. This also comes in a, in a very large bag. And I've got that ready to throw onto the lawn and that and all the gardens well, when we start to put it down because I've used this for many years. This product is just like a fresher breath air, fresher breath air and all of your plants uh, and produce. So Bloom and Minerals is a 100% natural humic shell conditioner, compost of the stock, plant minerals that are no longer found in our farm on our soil. Bloom and Minerals is a plant food containing up to those six, so 76 organically bound minerals. Those are the same minerals that we're drinking. When you buy or consume a bottle of our plain minerals, this is it. This is where it comes from. Okay, those 70s are the same 76. These are plant-based. Okay, it contains, there's no added fillers. There's no binders. It's got the 76 major trace minerals. It helps increase the water intention in, in your ground. And so one of the things when summer comes along, you, your ground dries very fast. Well, this helps keep the, 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 um, some of that soil um, dampness around, you know, improves its uh, physical characteristics. And it comes in the granules, uh, which is the raw mineral humic shale, looks like ground coffee, or it comes in a liquid. The liquid is great. Uh, I use both um, and um, it's a great, Present the liquid one's a great gift, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day gift. You know these these are really good presents for that. So that's giving your garden a bit of a, a, a bit of fresh air, freshness, so to speak. Um, so now we move on to the home range. Uh, of course, uh, our home range. Delighted to say is Nature's Direct because it does. It seems like it's just stepped out of nature. So this home cleaning solution is a hundred percent organic. Not too many products you can say is 100% organic. The, um, the um, pet product, um, Be Calm, I don't believe can claim 100% organic, although it'd be pretty close to it. But these Nature's Direct products are, they protect your home, your family, your pets, the environment, okay? It helps with everything. And it even has a really good atomizer uh, and that, puts uh, sucks bad crap out of the air and cleans it all up, catches it and sends it back out again. But again, that's uh, Jean Jeanette's talk. So these amazing essential oil based home care solutions that really work, they're brought to you by an inspir inspirational team of people who generally care for your health and well-being. Well, what more can we ask for? And these are our people. This isn't somebody else's brand. This is our brand to be very proud of. So I'll just run through just a quick look of things. So we've got some images for, for Jeanette. Okay, um, so the product promise, or it's organic, it's vegan, biodegradable and cruelty free. There's no toxins, um, probates, there's no PBAs, and it's not GMO, there's no palm oil. So the oil side isn't that, that palm oil. There's no added colors, there's no, synthesized fragrances. What you get is the real McCoy. 
Here's the, um, the revitalizer. Uh, Jeanette will talk to you about it. So now I've given you a picture so you can see what it looks like. This is a great product. Um, this will suck all of the, there's everything in the air will go through this and it gets caught up in this uh, liquid solution that's been scientifically made to, to, to catch stuff and spits it out the other end. Again, I'm not going to go too deep into it. Now, that's not my area. I'm just the messenger today. So I'll go back one stage. Okay. And I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to unmute Jeanette. Hello. <laughs> and you're away. I am. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, I'm really inspired by what you said about cleaning up the home. I think that um, often it's what they call the missing obstacle to help uh, because people forget about the products they use around their home. So um, I will say that in the beginning, when we started Nature Direct, which is actually 13 years ago next week, so we're not a fly-by-night company, but um, what we do offer is um, a range of beautiful products that are formulated in France. One thing that is, uh, is true about our formulas, our essential oils, is they're actually like all indigenously sourced. So that's probably a point of difference, but I'll come back to that. But we like to start with why you would even bother to, to think about these kind of products and why you would use them in the home. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay. So most people, um, perhaps, it doesn't occur to them of the products they're using in their home are filled with toxins. And in fact, in Australia and New Zealand and the US, strangely enough, not in China, which is interesting, um, it's more of an indication you actually don't know what's going to be what's actually in a product. The only indication is the warning that's actually on the bottle. So when we um, when we consider, we like to start with why why you would even consider Nature Direct or even the Night of the Life. It's all about organic, plant-based products. So these typical products, I know that many of you would recognise that one. It's perhaps, um, it's commonly known as um, Domestos. These are out of my home, so I don't want to be sanctimonious about these cleaners. Um, but you can, on the back of it, there's a big black diamond with a number eight, which is basically the highest level of warning that you can get. Same as battery acid. And then there's products like this. Uh, again, this is out of my home. And um, it comes with really insidious warnings. And this is one of the reasons why you need to think about what you are doing. In fact, many of you on this call would be reading labels all the time on food. There's no, not a mother around, or a, a new mum or somebody with young children who would not read the back of a label and look at what's in them. Um, most people these days know to avoid the sixes and the twos, but we're dealing with a really educated market. And what we're dealing with now is a very conscious consumer. So they're reading everything. Sorry, what's my computer just zapping away there? So I'll read this one. This is this is uh, manufactured by Johnson and Johnson, which is a trusted family company. Just so you know, um, and it is an air sanitizer. So I'll read the warning. Now you tell me if you would use this product. Uh, caution: Eye irritant. Keep out of reach of children and pets. Highly flammable. Avoid contact with food and food utensils. So forget the kitchen. May irritate eyes, avoid spraying near eyes before using the product to make your home. Use in one room and wait 24 hours to ensure that no one has any physical reaction to the product. Aspirin allergy sufferers. And of course, in Melbourne, that's one in three people. Melbourne is the um, allergy capital of the world. And I, I believe all not far behind it. Uh, consult your doctor before using this product in your home. Before spraying, remove birds. After use, ventilate normally prior to returning the birds to the treated area. Now, we were lucky enough in our house to have Rosie Cheeks, the um, number one, two and three version of um, goldfish, and they all die symptomatically. That's what happens because that's what happens when you spray things like that around. Um, so going back to Nature Direct, uh, we are, um, it is formulated in France and to give, give an idea about where the products are sourced, our eucalyptus comes from Northern Tasmania. That's it. It's available everywhere throughout Australia and the world, but only Northern Tasmania gets, gets the, the tick of approval. Our vanilla comes only from Madagascar, only from Madagascar. Our 
our lavender, which is used in one of our sleep formulas, is actually only sourced from Provence, which is, happens to be in our, quite close to the town where our, our products are formulated in a town called Manosque, which is very close to, um, um, and in fact, in the road where our, where our products are formulated is a very, very French, famous French company called La Occitan. And it's in the same road and they started in a garage, just like many other businesses. So our lavender comes from Provence, which is very dry. It's grown one, only 1,000 metres above sea level. It's harvested when it's no taller than 30 centimetres and it must be grown in a particular type of soil. And that's the type of, of level of um, intricacy that our scientists go to, to get the properties. So Kevin, could you go back to the slide with all the photos, all the products on it? Thank you. So what we're dealing with now is a really savvy, conscious consumer. And I'm assuming many of you are on this call now who are conscious consumers. So here we go. Um, so there we are. So our products come as concentrates. And if you like, you can even use the water from your, I love that, the um, wire, what's it called? Wire radiate, radiate. I've never seen that. There you go. So for example, one of these, makes up five of these. So, uh, and when that's finished, you can simply recycle the bottle. They are BPA free, all those elements that you're looking for in a product. Um, they are biodegradable within, within seven days completely, which is actually quite interesting as well. So our bottles are commercial triggers. They last and last and last. So uh, really when you're buying a cleaning product, why pay for water when you can actually add it yourself? Um, so, uh, they come as a very simple range, and I'll just explain. Our products come in three areas. Our air products, and now you can flip to that other one, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. So the, this is a really interesting formula because um, our scientists in France are particularly involved in, in, um, in air quality. It actually all starts in the home. So. Um, for, uh, as a matter of fact, Dr. Eric Venturelli is on the International Fragrance Association. He's on the board of this organisation. So he deals with really high level people with, uh, and formulas with regard to emulsifiers in particular. Um, and this is where the strength of our product really comes from. So the Envira Air formula, which, which goes into that machine there, you might be able to see, you fill it up to the max line. Um, now I have, I'll just check he's not listening. No, I have a husband who's allergic to the world. I'm not joking. Um, so we have two of these in our bedroom uh, and two on the desk downstairs at any given time. And what they're designed to do is actually track and trap for, uh, particles in the air. And we're not just talking concrete dust, we're talking dander, pet dander, pollen, uh, obviously bacteria, viruses, spores, you name it, mold, mildew, and in particular, odour. Now, odour, as soon as you can smell something that might smell a bit off, then you, you can guarantee that there's actually bacteria within that odour as well. In addition to that, it also it literally cuts odours by a process called adsorption. A-D-S-O-R-B. So adsorption. It's quite different to an absorbed formula as well. Um, our next door neighbour, for example, has a child who's um, highly allergic to really anything and he really struggles with strong odours uh, even curry cooking or perhaps onions can actually really start to trigger that reaction where people react to them so these products are designed to attract and trap and what they do the the the, the vapor that goes out you can't actually see it so if you look at the, the unit now the air is drawn in under the lid and out of the top is a very fine air you won't even see the mist. It's not like a diffuser. For example, a diffuser is meant to put things into the air. This is designed to take things out of the air. And I actually use both. So going back to our unit there, there are four formulas you can use and they're all, uh, they all have particular properties, so you'll love them. Um, so that's one of the products about our, our air range. The other one, I'll get you to flip back to the one with all the photos on of the products is Mist. Now that's a really fast, fast air control product. And in fact, Kevin, with concrete, you'll, you'll love this product because of course concrete, the heavy product, the heavy um, 
particles jump, uh, obviously float to the ground, but they're not all heavy. That's a trouble. Um, the other thing you might find is that products, these products, more importantly, are VOC free, which is volatile organic compound free. And, and VOCs contribute enormously and insidiously to the air quality in, in, in a home. And I'll just go, I want to share something with you about a childcare centre. We're, in Australia, we're, we're fairly prevalent throughout many childcare centres and children's services and those kinds of facilities. And um, I am actually part of a cleaning organisation called Clean Scene. It's, it's riveting, it really is. So what you'll find there, though, is that they, they perform a lot of tests. And what they did is they performed a test on the VOC levels in a particular childcare centre. So they measured the, the air quality at um, 180 centimetres and it was less than 0.001% of VOCs. 30 centimetres above the ground though, the floor, it was more than 1,000 times the acceptable level of VOCs. Now I'm not in the habit of crawling around the floor, but many children are, and I've got to say my, my animals do as well. I have a nighttime animal, which is my cat that spends his whole time wrapped around my head. And I have a beautiful old dog, Casper, um, and um, he's my daytime dog. As a pet, he sleeps beside me on the floor. So these are the types of people, uh, creatures, if you like, and our pets, they're, they're my beloved pets. I'd hate to think that they were being impacted by VOCs. So the, there's only one way to get VOCs. You can't actually even open a window. You actually have to extract them and get them out of the air as much as possible. So, you know, whatever you can do to reduce VOCs is a really critical thing as well. And I, I urge you to think about the products you're using. Uh, one of the most toxic products of all is glass cleaner. Uh, many glass cleaners have ammonias and um, various highly um, uh, volatile ingredients that, that um, evaporate very quickly. And what they do, the sun hits the glass or hits the glass coffee table, and that's when the VOCs start to occur. So you can really go a long way to making sure that you are toxic free in your home by simply replacing the products you're buying to clean your house with. Um, if you are really serious about getting rid of toxins in your home, then what you'll do is you'll basically get the products like these, not like me, I've kept them, and put them in a box with the local council because they are toxic ingredients you'll have to and get rid of them and then you can start afresh don't be like my sister uh, when she first started when we first started with nature she said oh i just think i'll try the spray and wipe thank you and that's probably because she was um they'd actually had a forty thousand dollar kitchen put in so that's the main reason why she actually wanted to to use something organic because not only are these really powerful but they're also quite safe uh, for your for your kitchen surfaces to bathroom surfaces and of course these bottles here you can see across the screen many people pick up extra bottles if you're like me and you have two bathrooms in your house one upstairs one downstairs then you can basically just keep a spray bottle made up and then that way you can just go and grab it when you're ready to, to clean and of course we have an amazing range of microfiber um, and they're available on our site. You'll be able to contact your distributor or the people who invited you to this call and really, really uh, get an idea of what you can do to really clean up your house. And I'm not just talking about cleaning, I'm talking about cleaning up the air and really the whole uh, footprint that you're making in your life around these products. So. If you'd like to reach out to me at any time, just message me on Facebook or, or through the person who introduced you to this call and I'd be more than happy to, to talk with you personally. That was, that was brilliant anyway while we're waiting, Jeanette. Thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. Um, you know, it's a really simple range. Um, so um, I know Rob's here, heard this a number of times. He's probably sick of it. Um, but it is a really, it's an excellent range of products that you'll be able to use and incorporate with the products you already have in your home. Uh, just get rid of those that toxic stuff like this, okay? <laughs> so. Well, I have. I've got, I've got every one of them now. Yep. So. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, um, so thank you so much for that, um, Jeanette. Um, that was a pile of information there. Hope everybody was uh, writing all that down. But... We've recorded this, so um, we'll be able, you'll be able to go back and uh, just recap all that. Now, before, um, before we go off um, and uh, on to our next topic, does, does anybody have any questions for, for um, Jeanette? If so, just put your hand up, unmute yourself, and then ask the question. Other than that, we move on. Okay. Um. 
Um, with the green glass cleaning cloth, Jeanette, what's is that the best cloth to use? Is it the actual glass? Is that actually glass cleaning cloth? Yeah, it is. Um, it depends how dirty it is. Now our windows are pretty dirty. We had a red dust storm about two weeks ago, so I use the eraser block, not me personally. Gary does that, um, and basically cleans the windows with the eraser block. Rinse it down with a hose if it's outside, for example, and then use the glass cloth to clean and polish it. We've got about four or five of them. They're fantastic. It's basically a cloth that you can use on any shiny item. So chrome, great for the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Um, mirrors. Um, I keep one in my bathroom with an all-purpose cloth, and um, it really they are the best cloths. Mm -hmm. They really are. They're very good quality. Question, Jeanette. Sure. Um, I'm on the. Sorry, um, I'm getting a terrible echo calls. here. I'm on a lot of calls with the Roma Share ladies, and they were just asking if they could use their essential oils in the environments. Okay, no, they can't because the emulsifier is quite different. Um, the emulsifier is a plant-based one, entirely plant-based, and if and I've got them here to show you. This is what it looks like. This is to do with the, what they call the emulsifier. So this is typically a, 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 a emulsifier that you would use. It's mostly synthetic, but there are plant-based ones that are manufactured like this as well. Um, so that's what an emulsifier looks like for many of the leading uh, essential oil companies. Um, so that's what they look like. So they would basically, that's the carry, if you like, for an essential oil product. This is what our product looks like, the emulsifier. And it looks like somebody with a really wild hairdo. They obviously live in Melbourne, like me. Um, so you'll see that all of these little, um, these little uh, tails, if you like, they're every single shape and size. So what they do is they're designed to pick up particles of many, many different sizes. Remember, our product is not designed to put things into the air. It's designed to actually take stuff out of the air. So in many ways, an essential oil product adding to it is you're actually... Um, you're doing the opposite. Um, and you, I mean, I use my, I, I use this at night and then I put my diffuser on with my to be a piece because I love that. Um, so what you might find is that the large particles here, I'm hoping you can see this, would pick up large particles like dander and smoke, for example. But then you've got really tiny little things down here, which are viruses. Um, and then you've got the medium ones, you've got bacteria, you've got um, smoke, uh, all kinds of, um, particles in the home. Dust in particular, dust of course has 276 particles. So what they do, this goes out into the room and remember these are, um, despite the fact that it's it's typically great for an average size room, this, this really goes through the whole house. You, you'll be able to smell it wherever you are. And then inside here, and Sam you'll really, really appreciate this, these are the particles of the essential oils. Now these are specifically, specifically designed to do they're what they call fit for purpose. So um, now in Europe, for example, our environment has what they call the biocidal approvals. That's quite complicated, but it, it kills lots of stuff. We can't say that in Australia. We, it, we're not going to go down that pathway of, of, um, of, of claiming that. But the essential, this molecule here encapsulates the, the essential oil molecule, uh, part of, if you like, molecules within it. And they're, they're the ones that do the work. Once these have actually caught all the particles and the, and the nasties. So, um, as I said, using, going back to essential oils, um, using them will simply clog the machine. And they, they're not doing the same purpose as this because they're not encapsulated in, the, in, this, um, in this emulsifier. So I really hope that makes that clear. Thank you so much for that. And would you suggest like having two downstairs in two different places oh, yeah. as well as upstairs? It really depends on how allergic your husband is. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> uh, on your or your children, for example, I, I know they're very affordable, so they're easy to move around the house. So, what I um, I'm not now when my kids are left home, but um, you know, many people with two or three children might have. It's hard to choose a favourite child, of course. So, what they often do is have one in each room. The other thing, of course, is that children can take ownership of this themselves, so they can actually tip in the the solution for the environment into the unit themselves. And sleep is a whole different topic. I could do a whole workshop around sleep itself. But um, they can take ownership of their of their nighttime rituals as well, which is actually putting the essential or the, the revitalised solution into their unit 
turning the machine on, jumping into bed, because it's part of that uh, recognition of, um, you, you'll know this of course, is that essential oils uh, very much uh, the, the part of the brain that recognise, recognises um, that fragrance is directly connected to, 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 the, um, to, to the sense of smell. So yeah. children will then start to, within about three to five to six months, I'll start to adapt to sleep fragrance. What we do recommend as well is actually getting um, a, a small bottle like that, and I've got one with a spray bottle on it, and spraying it on children's pillows. So you reinforce that fragrance uh, memory, if you like, um, that they can use safely use themselves. So it's a really, um, it's a very effective sleep tool as well. So going back to your question, it just depends on how many bedrooms you've got. Um, I, when whenever we have guests over, I always put one in the bedroom because it makes it really, you can literally cut the air when you walk into the room. If you have it on for about two hours before you go to bed, you can walk and you go, wow. Um, I can remember one child in particular, um, and she was 12, and I said to her, um, I rang her, her mother died, Di Gaylor, her name was. I said, can you tell me how she enjoying the revivalizer? And she said, oh, she's right here, you can talk to her. And I said to her, what's it like? And she said, the air's not thick anymore. The air is not thick. Mm. And if, you've got, if you're dealing with an asthmatic person, then that's what they find. They find the air is almost too thick to breathe. And this literally negatively charges all that stuff out of the air and dumps it out of the air. It does pick it up into the machine as well, but mostly what it does, it dumps it on surfaces, floors, and of course it's negatively charged, which is a chemical reaction, and it won't rise again. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay, I think Jeanette, we uh, we should, have you got a question there, Rob? Yeah, just Jeanette, just briefly, what, what's the best way to attack, um, you know, a bit of soap or scum buildup on uh, shower, shower walls? Glass shower. Okay, what colour is it? It's just glass. No, what colour is the, the the scum? Oh, it's a like a whitish colour. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, because the minute it starts changing colour, it becomes mould. So what I recommend you do is with um, with showers. I know you've been using NatureVec for quite some time. So if um, with showers, I often say to people, you need to. They're often layered with all sorts of chemicals that, or, or products that you've used in the shower before. So spray with the super strength, which is a red and black one, slice off a piece of the eraser block and gently rub the, the eraser block all around it. Uh, you may actually have to do it two or three times because some chemicals actually form a really hard shell on the glass and you've got to break through it. You can actually feel the difference as well. So that's probably the best way to do it. And then what you need to do is I've got, um, some of the amazing drying cloths. And I always make a point after a shower, and I know it sounds like a lot of faffing around, but truly cleaning off mold and scum is equally annoying. So if you dry your shower after, after it, it's literally, and I, I do have a squeaky thing, but a towel works just as well. Um, so you can basically dry the shower off and it just keeps it really sparkling. Because of the, the, the still water that's actually in the formula, it's in the cleaning products, you'll find that they, they get, What's the word? They um, they actually repel. They repel dirt, right. and that's that's one of the best features about them. They really are amazing products. Right, great. Thank you for that. That's okay. I'm not going to come and clean your shower. Though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. I don't do that. We're not cleaners. No. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, how high should you put the um, you know the little container with the water in it for the environment mist? Should it be you know, up higher than normal? Uh, the first thing to do if you're trying to clean the air quickly, use the pink one, the Environ Mist, which is the, uh, which is a really powerful air product. And then uh, what I recommend, I spoke to somebody today and I said to put a, put, a, a, put a sheet across the bed, spray the formula up high. This is not the right one, but really up high, stand up, really spray it liberally all around the room. Um, shut the doors and windows, come back in after about 20 minutes, half an hour. Then carefully, Fold the sheet inwards. Don't scrunch it up because what you've done is you actually effectively caught things, okay? So catch catch everything, fold the sheet up, stick that in the washing machine. And then what you can do is turn the revitalizers on and they will help because you can't be spraying all night long. Um, but if you literally turn your revitalizers on, we've got two in our bedroom, we've got a fairly large bedroom, but um, I think um, you'll get a hang of 
whether it's one or two that you need. When you use two, you'll never go back to one. Um, and it literally, it maintains the air. So by the time we go to bed, generally about nine o'clock, it's crisp, it's clean, it's fresh. Um, and we have our dog sleeps in our room and our cat sleeps in our bed. So there's that element as well. Um, but they are, it's a really effective thing. So you'll have to probably work that out. If you've got a couple of revitalizers list, try, with, try do the pink environments first, then try the two. You might be just good with just one, but I've got to say, once you've used two, you won't go back to, to, to one. Uh, but I mean, the, the vitalizer itself, does that have to be up high? Probably about, not really. Um, I keep mine on the, on the edge of a bookcase. Um, that's fine. I've got a bookcase. I've got one on each end. Um, when Gary's really unwell um, and he struggles, I mean, you know, talking about medication, uh, not last year, the year before, pre longevity, um, he was on a product called Singular, which is $10 a tablet. So don't talk to me about how expensive these, these allergy um, medications are. Um, and so, you know, what we, um, it, it made such a difference to him. So, you know, it makes a huge difference when you start to do, use these products as well. What about and mold? You started to talk about mold. Is there anything particular that you put in it for mold? Yeah, mold's a tricky, tricky, tricky thing. I'm actually um, in a past life. I was a mold remediator as well, which is when I was part of Young Nature Direct properly. Um, so that's really tricky. I, I, I normally ask to see photos. Generally speaking, if it's bigger than a meter, uh, then you need to get somebody to remediate it. Um, you know, we're talking. We're not talking about, um, you know, sort of odd bits of stuff on the shower. Often it might be behind the silicon. Um, but what, the biggest mistake that people make with with, with with mold is scrubbing it, and they scrub the life out of it. And what you do is you're breaking down the surface of something, uh, particularly grout. So, and then of course, um, where there's mold, there's moisture. So white vinegar is generally a good a good technique. I could do a whole call on mold, seriously. Um, and then of course. Um, cleaning it with um, hot soapy water with the super strength. And that's about the only time I'll ever recommend getting cheap microfiber. You can buy the cheap microfiber from Bunnings or whatever the, have you got Bunnings over there? Yeah. Um, and then what you would do is basically swish it in the hot water, spray it with the super strength, clean it. And then what you would do is wipe it. Now this is a trick with microfiber. It traps everything. So you would fold it into four like that. And what you do is wipe down, turn it around. Wipe down, turn it that way. Wipe down, never rub mold like that because what you're doing is spreading the spores. Then turn it in the other way. And then that cloth, once you've used all eight sides of it, you're gonna chuck it out. You're never gonna wash it again and you're certainly never gonna put it in your washing machine. Okay. So oh, that's yeah. the only time I recommend you get cheap microfiber. Um, the good microfiber, make sure you wash them in, uh, in um, laundry bags but go to bunnings get your 20 20 when you've got mold um go and buy these and ring me that's the best way to do it I've got, I've got oh, brilliant slide. okay well we're probably going to have to um, move on a bit further okay. now we've still got the other three girls to talk um their talk so um i'm sure if there's any more questions i'm sure we can ask um jeanette directly because this is a big topic i, I, I know <clears throat> Yeah, you did forewarn me. You said it'll be so much to talk about. <laughs> and there is. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we've only just uh, scratched the surface. Yeah. Okay, so um, so let's move on to our next um, subject now. We're going to talk about the energy essential oils. So uh, just let me just condense you for a moment and scroll through. Okay, so. I produce our Down Under Run Girls. Uh, we have Sally Muir, Karen Chillen, and Sam Kirkwood Vales. Uh, they're here to present today um, our Run a Share, part of our Run a Share Club, September Handle with Care. And so without further ado, I would like to introduce our lovely Sally to. Everyone. Um, yeah, thanks, Jeanette. We'll have to get you back again. You make cleaning interesting. Really? Gosh, that's, that's scary. It <laughs> that is scary. All right. Okay, so tonight um, I'm talking about Copa Bayer Plus. Um, so that means it's a blend, but it consists mostly of 90% Copa Bayer, um, with the other 10% containing frankincense and lavender. Copa Bayer is kind of new to the scene. 
um, and, and essential oil in the essential oil scene. Um, it, it's um, the main things that people look um, for CBD oil to be used for, i.e. Um, stimulating your brain, um, helping with pain, um, skin issues, um, and, and depression. Um, Copa Bayer will, will, will outshine it. Its chemical constituents are actually higher by 30% more than what CBD is in, um, in what CBD has to help with brain action. Uh, and, but the, the best thing about C, um, Copa Bayer is it contains no THC, so you have no issues with drug testing or using on the job where um, it could be dangerous. Copa Bayer um, essential oil is produced from the resin of, um, of the Copafera species of trees in South America, which is primarily in Brazil. It's considered to be one of the most anti-inflammatory essential oils in the world especially when mixed with the um, frankincense and lavender. Um, and, and that makes Copa Bayer really, really important when there's um, any sort of pain or disease in the body because with pain and disease comes in, um, inflammation. It's also amazingly safe. It's as safe as, as lavender, which is very safe, provided that it's um, diluted. You do need to dilute, dilute Copa Bayer. Um, and recommended for infants, frail, and pets, um, that there's eight, four to eight drops per 60 mils, and, and then you can use as needed. Um, so that's 60 mils of um, um, a carrier oil. It is also, um, it's excellent for lung and sinus issues. Um, anything skin related, cut or scrape around, you can, pop it just around the cuddles great um, also um, amazing for wrinkles and dry skin it's antifungal um, if you could have one essential oil blend Liang King says that this would be the one because of its safety and effectiveness it also reduces blood pressure and improves heart health is an overall tonic and regular use of it can increase your vitality you can use it in every way um, i.e. in the bath, diffusing it, and you can even pop a drop in your tea. It is antiseptic and great for, um, it's anti-rheumatic. Uh, it, it's a star at reducing scars and assists and supports all body systems except for the urinary tract. Um, and blends well with most, with most oils. In fact, Leanne and Kent have not found an oil that it does not blend well with. Um, so uses with just Kopi Bar by itself, you, it helps to lift the mood by um, smelling and topical application. It has been used effectively against nail and foot fungus. It helps with almost all skin issues, like to tighten skin and, and to reduce aging. Uh, it's used to reduce and help blood pressure and improve heart health. It has aided with irritable bladder disorders and chronic diarrhea. Research shows that it's been helpful in cases of chronic nasal congestion or chronic and bronchitis. It's also used to reduce pain and inflammation when used on location. Uh, the frankincense, um, it's antidepressant. It also helps with scars. Also generally great for skin. Frankincense helps with digestive pain and colic. It's diuretic. It's great for the respiratory system, i.e. helps to remove phlegm from the lungs. So frankincense brings in the aspect of, aspect of helping with the urinary tract, in fact, um, urinary tract system. Frankincense by itself, you can, you can inhale it several times a day and heal and, and balance emotions in times of depression, anxiety, grief, stress, and trauma. It can be very helpful to those with autistic tendencies. Added to a chest rub, it can help relieve asthma. It balances the cardio respiratory system. Used in a face cream with lavender, it reduces scarring and signs of aging. So um, in lavender, as we know, it, it's, it's calming and it's also um, soothing. So whether that be um, inhaling it to, to calm it and soothe the nervous system or whether it be to um, pop on your skin, to soothe your skin. It's also anti-rheumatic and antidepressant and is also antitoxic. So it also helps to lower blood pressure. So these three um, blended together, the Kopi Bayer, the Lavender and the Frankincense are just amazing for uplifting and relaxing and for pain. 
Um, ways you could simply or easily use this is to um, add it to your moisturizer to give it a bit of a boost um, or diffuse it before bed um, or um, to help relax you for a great night's sleep um, or, to relax, or to pop it in the bath to relax as well. Um, in Leanne's um, opinion, she says it, it is just as important with Organ Master, which she says is very important too. So that's the Copai Bayer Plus. Uh, and next we have Karen, and she's going to be speaking about tea tree. Thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm going to talk to you about tea tree. This is a 10ml bottle. Pretty much... Sally, pretty much the same as Coca, um, the Cocoa Bio Plus, some of the um, parts of it. But anyway, I'm going to share my screen for a moment. Let's talk about tea tree oil. Now, tea tree oil, as Leanne would say, and Sally, I have to say that if you have two oils that you need in your home, besides the Cocoa Bio Plus, one of them, the other one is tea tree oil. It is our medicine cabinet in a bottle if you don't have anything else. It's um, immune stimulant and it's an effective against bacterial infections, viral infections, fungal infections. And it's key emotions that it can do to you. It can make you feel empowered, intelligent. <laughs> Um, it makes you feel promising, loving, and also gentle. So they're the emotions that uh, you're supposed to feel when you use it. And the key body systems um, is the immune system, the respiratory, and augmentary, um, which are from memory, I think, Sally or Sam, it's the skin, isn't it? And, and the properties of tea tree um, is, as I said before, it's a very powerful immune stimulant. And because it's antibacterial, it's going to it kills destructive bacteria while leaving friendly bacteria, while leaving friendly bacteria needed to stay healthy, and it disinfects the digestive system. And a good one to use that for, with it being an antibacterial, is um, for if you've got fungus on your toe or anything like that, you just the answer you can just put that straight onto your toe, do it a couple of times a day, and then eventually. Um, it'll go away. Because I had one growing, it started on my toe and started growing up my leg. So you start at the toe and then eventually it'll come away from the leg as well. Because as she says, it, it just goes right through your body and, and for different people, it will come out in different parts of your skin. So it's a decongestant as well. That also reduces the nasal um, mucus production and it's very, very highly effective for sore throats and upper respiratory problems. So if you do have a sore throat, you can um, swirl it put it on the back of your on the back of your tongue and swirl it around your mouth. And I do that a couple of times a day or every hour when you first get your sore throat. Um, but it's very, very good for that. Um, it's also um, Van Vulnery, which is a powerful aid for the healing the skin wounds or infections. So it's, um, yeah. It's anti-inflammatory, so it's gonna reduce that inflammation, especially when, if you like have acne it'll reduce the inflammation with acne. And if you put a tea tree with lavender in a spray with, with minerals, with plant-derived minerals, just a plain, in a uh, Mr. Bottle, right. spray it on your, on your acne, and as long as they're not um, open and they're gonna sting, but you spray it on your face, on your acne, and it will um, reduce right. inflammation and should take the acne away, like that. And it's also parasitic, so it kills parasites. And it dilates um, blood vessels, and it's also useful you for shoot chronic shoot conditions, else. including respiratory. Can you like control over the man? Lily, Lily, you don't have a charge in your car. No. Oh, respiratory, urinary, digestive, hormonal, skin joints, and and psychological. And uh, it's perfectly safe for both children and adults in fighting infections, but you just got to use that 0.5 percent solution. And also with, with children, you, if you've if, if you're uh, got school-age kids with lice, you put some tea tree in the shampoo and it'll, um, you know, kill the lice in their hair. And um, apart from that, it, it, it's perfectly safe, um, except uh, for people, it can be, uh, it's non-toxic, and but it could be possibly sensitising if used, for some people, if used in large doses. 
And like with all essential oils, too much can affect the liver, so you don't want to make have too much per day. And that's why we need our 90 for life to be able to look after our liver. And the different ways of using it, as I've said before, you can spray and spritz with plant-derived minerals. Um, you can you put it with uh, CM cream, put it under, under your uh, bottom of your feet, and or put it in a roller bottle. Okay, with uh, five drops of um, your blend or your oil, and uh, yeah, with your carry oil, sorry, and apply to the bottom of your um, foot or the back of your neck. So that's me. So hopefully you heard all that, and I'm going to put you on to Sam now, who is now going to talk to you about frankincense. Frankincense, five ml bottle, comes with a through a little card from the company in this little September pack. Now, just so that you know, um, Aroma She costs $75.90 for the month. Frankincense is $51. Tea Tree is $32.20. And Copaiba is $59.92. So that's a total of $143.12 for these, for this, that's individually if you bought it, but if you bought it like this, $75.90. Now, what I did was, quickly, I went and bought three because frankincense is actually going to go out of longevity. And the reason being is that it's actually manufactured in Somalia, and the way that they get that oil from the tree is that they actually scar it. They scar the tree and then get the oil out. And ethically, the company doesn't like this. So they're looking to change from frankincense. And it's also getting quite expensive to buy. The prices are going up. So I jumped in and got three packets. So that'll last me a little while. But $143.12 is if, if you bought it individually. And for Roma Share last month, you can't get it now because it's gone. It's $75.90. So, yes, now, frankincense. Everyone would know about the Bible's history. The three wise men brought it to Jesus um, when he was born. And so frankincense has got a very long history. Um, the qualities of this oil are that it's strengthening to the respiratory system. It rejuvenates the skin and it's anti-tumoral. It has the unique ability to pass the blood-brain barrier, adding both physically and emotionally. Um, frankincense is really strengthening to the immune system. Now, how would you use it? You'd inhale it several times a day to help uh, and balance emotions in times of depression, anxiety, grief, stress, or trauma. It can be helpful to those with, that have autistic tendencies. You can add it to a chest rubs to help relieve asthma. You can balance the cardiorespiratory system. You can use it in a face cream with lavender and it reduces scarring and the signs of age. And who doesn't need to get rid of these wrinkles, eh? Um, safety notes. It's good for all ages. It's non-toxic, non-irritating, non-sensitizing. Um, the properties of it, it alleviates depression, reduces inflammation, assists in fighting germs and infections, relieves spasms. That's really good in the middle of the night when you've got, you get a um, cramp in your leg in bed. So grabbing a, a roller bottle of uh, frankincense and just rubbing it on it instantly takes it away, that um, cramp. Try it, it's really good. Uh, relieves intestinal gas pain. It's cicatricent, which means it relieves and tests, sorry, it promotes wound and scar healing. Uh, it's good as a diuretic, so it increases the urine uh, production and rids your body of the excess fluid. It promotes discharge of mucus or phlegm from the chest and lungs. It can tranquilize activity of the body parts. It's nourishing, supportive and strengthening. So, um, and the only other thing I have is some recipes. So who needs a hair repair spray? My husband, who's bald, he could do with this. Um, now, hair repair spray, it's seven ounces of pure water, 
two tablespoons of kukui or jojoba carrier oil, and you would have 24 drops of Longevity's frankincense lavender blend. And you put that in an eight ounce mister bottle and four ounce of water. Give it a, so if you had your little bottle and where do I put it? So that's say your little, your know, eight minutes, you'd give it a bang a uh, hundred times. And then um, you would um, shake well before you use it and you'd mist it on damp hair and style as you usually would. And that would, um, it's, um, prevents that fuzzy hair um, that you get and the other one a recipe I'd give you is a longevity everyday face serum we all need that well I know I do um, and that would be two ounces of kikui or jojoba carrier oil with 12 drops of longevity's frankincense lavender blend and you'd put that in a two ounce dropper bottle with one ounce of kikui and then you put the top back on Give it a shake again 50 times. Open the bottle um, and you put your oil in up to the shoulder, just to the shoulder, this bit here, because you don't want to overfill it. Um, yes, you don't want to overfill it. And then you would um, recap it, give it a shake again, and then you'd use that on your face morning and night. One drop will do the trick. So, yes, um, and just one other recipe I have, a healthy nail roll, uh, roller bottle. Um, that's using kikui or jojoba, seven drops of frankincense blend oil, three drops of rose geranium into a 10 ml, and I don't have one here with me, a 10 ml bottle, um, and you put that in and give it a shake, and you rub that over your nails, so give it a massage in there, helps your nails. And that's me, Kevin. Back to you. Ah, excellent. So much information. You girls just have so much to share. Uh, so much appreciated, Sam. Well, um, that sort of brings our show to the, to the end. Uh, does anybody have any questions on that? Any questions? Can I just say, Kevin, if sure. anyone has an interest in essential oils, um, Leanne has a special on which finishes in two days' time. That if anyone wants to learn about essential oils, they can uh, join her on the aromatic applied aromatic school. It's one hundred and seventy-seven dollars US. Normally it's two seven, two thousand seven hundred, but at the moment it's just one hundred and seventy-seven dollars, and. Um, Leanne told us today that she has, she always had a plan five years ago to have a thousand um, students, and she's got one thousand and thirty-six. So she's wicked. Wrapped, yeah. Oh, so it's she's excellent. She's got a thousand and thirty-six um, students in the school at this time. That's an almost big, huge number, isn't it? Mm, That's a lot of yes. lot of people interested, and there's a few from down under as well. If I if I hear rightly. Yep. Um, Karen can talk about, you've got nine over where you are, Karen, don't you? Uh, yeah, one of, Liz, um, one of Liz's distributors, directly under Liz, um, signed up. She signed up nine people, was it? Yeah, she signed up in, in that weekend of the conference. Yeah, pretty good, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Liz. She's um, yeah. So she was really wrapped because she, she's into oils as well. So yeah, mm. all on the Gold Coast. All on the Gold Coast. Ah, oh, so excellent. Oh, much appreciated there. Okay, so uh, we'll just finish off now. Uh, remember that um, um, we can only uh, increase our knowledge by increasing our education. And Dr. Wallach has uh, got many books out there now that uh, help assist us with um, with our health goals. Uh, he's also got a, an essential oil passport to aromatherapy, which is available from us uh, down under here. Uh, tools, um, where is it? Website, 12, flash past it. Tools at my uh, YGY95.com, uh, and you can pick up all your books. Also, uh, Dr. Oliver's book, um, 
The Rare Earths has been converted to a CD that's now available from New Zealand, Australia, and his latest book, It's All In Your Head, is also available in New Zealand, Australia. Um, it's just a little book, um, but very well put together, uh, nicely done. Okay, so uh, education is paramount for us to succeed and grow forward with our health and well, well, young, young divity, well, well being, well being was the word I was looking for. Okay, so uh, without further ado, just signing off. Thank you so much. We'll see you the same time next month uh, for another great ninety for life topic. Okay, cheers. Bye for now. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Jeanette. Thank you, Jeanette. Good night, guys. Thanks for coming. Good night. night, Sally. <laughs> Good night, Mary. Bye, guys. And. Thanks.